Hi everybody and welcome to another After Effects tutorial. My name is Aton and today I will be showing you how to make some some text that is sort of like has parts chipped off, sort of rough rougher look. So and you can just use this in title treatments and all sorts of stuff like that. And you don't need any specific font. You'll see I'm using Arial just to show that it can be done with any font pretty much as a base. So let's get started. Jump into a new comp that is as big as you want it and type your text. So I will type, um, it's easier the fewer characters you have. So I'm just going to show you with um, one letter just to make this tutorial go faster. But you could do this with, as, as you can see, you can do this with, like as you saw with my previous example, you can really do this with as many letters as you need to. So I'm just going to make this a big A. And, um, yeah, so you can use, like, title action safe to sort of put that in evenly. And, yeah, that, that looks about in the center. So, now we can add on, the first thing we'll be doing to it is adding a rough in edges. But, that's really just the first effect we'll be doing. Before we do that, we just have to create masks from the text. And it's important that we do this first, because they're going to be two separate things. So, now you can just delete this original text. We don't need it. Add rough in edges to it and change the type to cut and turn up the border you can zoom in turn off these little oh, cancel turn off these little blind things and put it in full quality so you can sort of just see the cuts being made now turn up the edge sharpness so they're like sharper parts being taken out of it and you don't want it to be too much. You can play with other stuff that'll make it look like more. Like if you turn down the scale, it'll make the same thing happen over a smaller area. So that's that's looking pretty good for step one. Maybe I actually turn this scale up a bit. Okay. All right. Part two. So this really actually doesn't take very long for one. Um, for one letter. So press M to bring up all your masks, which it's two masks that make up the letter A and they're set on difference. So one of the masks, uh, well, I can't show you one of the masks. I'll try inverting them. So you can see basically each one, one is for the um, middle part and one is for just all around it. And so basically this, since it's already there it like excludes it because it's taking the difference between the two i hope i made at least a little sense there okay so if you're using a lot of a lot of different um a lot of different masks it'll be helpful to just bring down these tab things and an easy way you can do that is hit the first one hold shift and hit the last one and then just click it and they'll all go down and now you'll be adding some new masks so this is just you have to creatively so click on it and creatively add a few little things that'll make it like make it look a little more like worn out so change this to either subtract or difference both would work and you can make them as big or small as you want them as subtle or as like just big things as you want Oh. You have to be careful you're not you're you've been clicked on this or else you will be creating a shape layer which is not what you want to do. And you can add to that that edge there by adding some more. So I think it works really well if you just make some big, some small different shapes. and just scroll down, subtract. So this could take a while if I wanted to really do the full thing well, but you can see that I have made 
already in that short amount of time that now some of these are really pretty big big things like this I would probably trim down a little bit um but like some of them are really helpful like that one that one I mean it's like with this one I went a lot more subtle with not that many not that many big ones per her letter and if they were they were like at the bottom like that was a pretty big mask taking that out there but it's less noticeable so it's all about just adding I mostly added triangles with a few like square ish things and then some other some other figures that probably have names that I don't know but Whatever, this is not geometry class, this is an After Effects tutorial. So, thank you for watching. If you liked it, please comment, like, and subscribe. And if you have any comments or questions, please leave them below, and I will try to answer them. And if you have any ideas for tutorials, please leave them below, and I will, if I know how to do it, I will make a tutorial on that. So, thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial.